I'm a actor, writer, and also do simulation work and work in the theatre. But my main priority is doing acting in theatre. Um, I moved to London because I thought that's the place to be. I mean, like if you go to America, they say, you know, the best place to go is Broadway. When you're in Europe, the best place to go is the West End. I thought it was all going to be, you know, paid work and, you know, I, I knew it was going to be a struggle, obviously. It's always going to be a struggle. It's about meeting people. I mean, I started with Amateur Dramatics and I met someone through that. Now she's like a director and she knows who I am. So I work with her every now and then. Took a play to Germany with her and then I got to know the writer. Um, he's also a very good friend of mine now and like through him we um I started doing murder mysteries across the country. Um and then from him I met someone else who does simulation work. And yeah, it's just about meeting people and like selling yourself because you are you, your own body, your own you're selling your own product but because I went to university I'm not accredited so a lot of agencies, theatre agencies don't see that as plaudible as up when it's different up north it's based more on talent well what I've figured anyway I mean it's based more on talent up north it's more like who you know uh, you know you talk to and getting places and working hard but in London I've figured I don't know it's um it's more like you're accredited, and I'm not accredited because I can't afford 13 grand a year for drama school. When I first moved to London, I lived in a house with five other people, and it was horrible, I'm not gonna lie. So I had to work like 13 hour shifts, I was doing like 45 hours a week, and then still having to drive to look for acting work and writing and stuff. So it, it was tough, like, you know, I mean, I've heard of actors who sleep on the streets and couch surf and all that but luckily I've been good financially I've always made sure I've got enough money in the bank from somewhere and it does blindsight um, me I know it sounds um, stuck up but like your, your creativity you know you, you you working all the time so I mean I got into a play and I had to take three weeks off and it wasn't even paid so it's like three weeks off from my job um, and it wasn't paid work. You know, well, I think a lot of actors uh, get stuck in this rut, especially in London. Um, you need to have a flexible job, and but to have a flexible job means you have to have a weighted job. And when they throw when they throw shifts at you, sometimes you get blindsided by that. So you know, it it is hard. I didn't have any qualms about leaving London at all. I mean, I still go nearly every week for a casting. I mean, it's what thirty one pound return on the train. I mean, you know, I'm still getting the work and I, I don't think you need to live in London to have all this. If you're good to travel, it's fine. But um, don't get me wrong, I loved London, really did love London, met some great people. But um, yeah, it's just it's just too expensive. It is one of the, the, it's one of the cultural capitals of the world, it really is. Um, and may it continue um, for rich and poor.